على رسول الله رب شر رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة تم اللساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما رب يسر ولا تعسر رب وتم بالخير اللهم جعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا اللهم آمين so we are going to start our today's session and today and for next week i think we will just uh, do some review and revision uh, especially for the first part that is the most important part for the level 1 2 and 3 so we will focus on the revision of these things so that we should have to recap all those whatever we have covered before so basically, if we divide this course, this is one thing is the simple verb part, which is we have, which have almost, which is covering almost 80 to 90% of vocabulary of Quran. So vocabulary is very important. So level one, two, and three, if we just revise them and sometimes we review them, especially for the vocabulary, and it will really help us in Quran. Second thing that we have the Nahav part, the first thing we just covered that is the fragments, five fragments. And before that, the noun is very important about the properties of noun and status is used a lot. And then fragments. And then we have covered the Nahav important part. There are some rules and we that is important thing that when we read the Quran and we try to understand it and we just focus on that. So this is the that is the first step that that will help us that they are the rules they are very important. After, uh, for example, sometimes the different participants ask us that uh, before starting, especially nowadays, the registration for the new course is going on, that do we really be able after completing this course that we can understand each and every word? This is like something of practice. I would say that this is the this is a long journey of Quran. It is not something that we just it is just like a simple, for example, I am doing a French language course. If I am attending for regular six months, five days a week, and after six months, French is, course is finished, I am getting certificate. Do I be able to speak, uh, participate and do discussion and like, and can I be understand French easily? Yes, it is. But it is very important that I have to adopt and I have to practice with all those, whatever I have learned. I have to go to the community. I will just keep talking and writing, reading as as long as I will be more, will do more and more practice. I will be. Quran means the book which is, which have to be read and understand again and again for Quran. Quran is a master. So it is not something that just we finish a course and that's it. No, it's a continuous efforts. And every time, of course, that it is the same thing. For example, we just, first of all, we just start with Nurani Qaeda. We do the Arabic basic and then we start reading. Okay, I think if I remember, most of the, us just at the age of 13, 14 or uh, then we are we are able to read the Quran. If we leave that Quran, we are not reading for the long time. And again, we open this book. This will be very difficult for us to read that Quran again. So this is everything that needs continuous efforts and practice. So after this course, what we should do? Do we just stop it? No, we should just start. We should make a plan at home that we could start at least two verses, three verses every day and apply all these rules there. And inshallah, when you will just do these efforts after completing three, four, five pages of Musaf where you, you put some efforts, you are able to just translate. Of course, sometimes you need some help from the external dictionary. That is important. There are many available. So, and then it will be very easy for us that we can understand it. And especially... I think Ramadan is the best time when we have when we go for Taraweeh to listen Quran. Um, I myself, my experience is that most of the time Quran, I was able to understand Quran for the whole day. For example, I have to make a plan that today I am going to listen half juice of Quran. So what I have to do, I split my time from the morning till evening before going to Taraweeh. 
I just go and read Quran word by word, try to understand the meaning. This is the first step. And then the message, what it is saying, then I really enjoy the Tarawih that each and every word is coming. Of course, during that time, I would have some problem, some vocabulary, but that will be so. I should have a permanent book of Quran with me and I should do the practice on that. Without practice, we cannot achieve that kind of level. Uh, so th this is what uh, that we have this I wanted to share with each and every participant inshallah sometime you can also write your experience there the feedback is already feedback form is given there that how we can improve this course there are many suggestions sometimes more I personally contact many participants of the class everybody have a suggestion but this course has been designed uh, gradually and every time uh, experience of one class is applied on the second time, third time, fourth, everything is not perfect. There are There is a room of improvement in everything. So just uh, I would suggest, especially the senior participants, those who are with us, part of our group, uh, I would suggest that they should, they should spare some time and write in feedback that how we can improve it. And definitely we'll try our best. And there are some limitations, of course, that we just uh, we have one hour, two hours in a week, and we just come here and practice. The most important thing for this class, we all agreed on this, that if we just attend this class regularly and we don't skip any session, this is really a beneficial. Many students, there is a one, uh, sometime this question was raised by the participant at different uh, point that, why the, when we start the session, we have almost more than 100 participants, but after some time, we don't. The, this is most of the part, it is on the part of the participants. What is happening, this is online class. We cannot make them focus in the class. Sometimes if someone is coming late, 15 minutes late, if someone is skipping one class, for example, some of the participants told that we can only come at one day, but they can come at one day, but after one or two months, they would not have any interest in that class because they are missing a lot of things. So important thing is the continuity, punctuality, and all these things. And especially we all request all the existing participants that please help us to uh, spread this message that we are going to start our new session from 27th of April. So more and more people will be able to join this course, inshallah. So today I will just go for the revision. I will start with the, the level one. This should be printed. It should be pasted on my study table wall or wherever. Level one, level two, and level three, they should be there. And sometimes we can also summarize the most important rules which are frequently used in the Quran. They should be in front of me. So it will really help us uh, to get the expertise and try understanding of this. So first thing is the level one. There are six chapters. So first thing that we should have the summary of the, those six chapters and those patterns in our um, fingertips. For example, if I ask someone, uh, I will I would go with the Ahmad, uh, Brother Ahmad. Is everybody yes, able to listening me? As Brother Hamid Naimi is complaining that there is cutting off the sound. I can listen to you. Uh, not, not on my end. Uh, so there is no. So Hamid Bey, just check if you, there is a problem at your end or something. We are not facing. So I will start with the uh, not brother Ahmed. Uh, uh, Umar Umar Ahmed. Umar Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. If my question is that, can you please summarize the level one? How many chapters are there? Would it be possible that if you can just give me? Six chapter names. Um, Let's say I will ask you the names of six chapters. Just name chapter names. First chapter name. Bab. Bab Fata. Bab Zaraba. Bab Samia. Bab Karuma. No, you are missing something. Start again. Bab Fata. Bab Zaraba. Bab. Bab Nasara, Bab, Bab Samia. Yes. Bab Hasiba. Yes. 
Bab Karuma. Bab Karuma. Now, can you please give me the pattern? With pattern, Bab Fataha. How you will say it? Bab Fataha? Bab Fataha, Jabar Jabar, Bab Zaraba. No, no, first say Bab Fataha. Fataha Yaftahu, Zabar Zabar. Adab Fataha Fataha. Bab Fataha, Fataha Yaftahu, Zabar Zabar. Bab Zariba, Zariba Yazribu. No, Bab Zaraba, Bab Yazribu. Zabar Zer Bab Samia Bab Nasara Nasara Yansiru Nasira Yan Nasar Bab Samia Samia Yasmau Zer Zabar Bab Hasiba Asiba Yahsebu Zer Zer Bab Karuma Karuma Yakrumu Pesh 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 Okay, so we have this is Fatha Fatha. This is in Arabic. We have to say Arab like Fatha 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 Kasa in Urdu. Yes, that is the Barzabar, but in Arabic there is no that is Fatha 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 Kasra. Fatha Dhamma, let's make it universal. So Kasra Fatha, Kasra Kasra, and Dhamma Dhamma. So we have Fataha Yaftahu, Fatha Fatha. Fatha means uh, he opened, Daraba he hit, Nasara he held, Samia he listened, Hasiba he computed, he calculated, Karuma Yakrumu, um, Karuma he honored himself or he was honorable. Tanjim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Tanjin. Uh, let's say we have the words Zakara. On which chapter it will be? Zakara. Zakara Yadkuru. Bab. Bab Nasara Yadkuru. Nasara. Can you please read? Zakara means? Well, I don't know the exact meaning. Just guess it. Because this, this word is a lot, used a lot in Quran. Just guess Zakara. Zikr of Allah, Zikr of Allah, remember, Zakara means he remembered. He remembered. Yeah, as we say that, Azkar as sabah Azkar as masah so these are basically morning Azkar, evening Azkar, so this is Zakara. Zakara, he remembered. Okay, can you please complete the table with Zakara? Zakara, Zakaru, Zakarta, Zakartum, Zakartu, Zakarna, Zakartu, Zakarna, Yadkuru, Yadkuruna, Tadkuru, Tadkuruna, Adkuru, Nadkuru, Uzkur, La Tadkur, Uzkuru, La Tadkuru, Zakirun, Zakiruna, Zakirina, Mazkurun, Mazkuruna, Mazkurina, Zakr. Zikr, 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 zikr. So this is so zakara means he remembered. Okay, uh, I would go to Saad. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Uh, can you please do this? Hami. Uh, Hamida. Hamid. Which chapter it belongs to? Ab Samia Kisra Fatta. Okay. Uh, Hamida, Hamidu, Hamet, Hametta, Hametum, Hametu, Hametna, Yahmadu, Yahmaduna, Tahmadu, Tahmaduna, Ahmadu, Nahmanu, Ahmad, La Tahmad, Ahmadu, La Tahmadu, Hamidun, Hamiduna, Hamidina. Mahmudun, Mahmuduna, Mahmudina, Hamdun. Hamdun. What is the meaning of Hamida? Um, all praise. He praises. He he praises. Is it right, Hamida? He praised. He praised. He awesome. praised and thanked. Yeah. So it is Madi Hamida. 
he praised and thanked. We have to fit exactly in the sentence that it is Hamida Yahmadu. Hamida means he praised and thanked. Okay. Uh, I would go to Brother Abdul Mujib. <laughs> if the word is Ghafara, can you please tell me on which chapter it belongs to? Ghafara uh, Yafiru, Bab Daraba. Can you please complete the table? Ghafara, Ghafaru, Ghafarta, Ghafartum, Ghafartu, Ghafarna. Yafiru, Yafiruna, Tafiru, Tafiruna, Akhiru, Nakhiru, Ifir, La Tafir, Ifiru, La Tafiru, Rafirun, Rafiruna, Rafirina, Makurun, Makuruna, Makurina, Gufran. Gufran. Gufara means? Gufara means he forgave. He forgave. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Brother Hamid Naim. So Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, can you please uh, do the Jamula? If you say Jamula, on which chapter it belongs to? Okay. Jamula is Bab Karuma. Bab Karuma, yes. Karuma Yakrumu, Jamula. Jamula means? Uh, he beautified himself. Uh, he, uh, was he was beautiful. beautiful. He beautified is something. He was beautiful. Yeah, he was yeah. beautiful. So if we say we just recently covered the fairly lazim and fairly mutaaddi, on which it belongs to? Uh, it is uh, uh, fairly mutaaddi. Yeah, the, the, the one that doesn't need anything else. That's that is fairly lazim. 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 So this is fairly lazim. So try and to understand this is the first chapter we just that verb chapter that is fairly lazim that because it doesn't because it has no maf'ul. No maf'ul means it uh, passive doesn't exist. So that is called uh, fairly lazim. Fairly lazim. So so Jamula he was beautiful. Can you please complete the table? Jamula Jam oh, Jamula Jama. Jama Jamul Jamulu Jamulta Jamultum Jamultu Jamulna uh, Yaj Yajmalu Yajmaluna Tajmalu Tajmaluna Ajmalu Najmalu Hamid Bay Yaj Yes What it will be Yaj Mudare uh, Yajmalu or Yajmulu Yajmulu, Yajmulu, yes. sorry, no. Yeah. Can you please do Modari again? Yajmulu. Yajmulu, Yajmuluna, Tajmulu, Tajmuluna, Ajmulu, Najmulu. Ajmal, La. What is fairly Lamar? Fairly. Ujmul. Uh, no, Ajmal. Uh, Ajmalu. Ujmul, Ujmul. Uj Ujmulu, La. Tojmulu. Ujmuluna. If it, okay. Uh, I will just uh, see here. Fairly Lamar, the last letter always be Majzum. There is a jism. So Ujmul, not Ujmulu. Ujmul, La Toj. La Taj. Tajmul. Ujmulu, La Tajmulu. Uh, aj. Jamil. Uh, aj. Aj. Uh, Aj, ajmul? No, no. Ajmul. Ismul file. Jamilun. Jamil. Jamilun. Oh, no. Jamilun. Uh, Jamiluna. Jamilina. And uh, the plural we share, yes, by pattern we can say that, but here is Jamilun and Jumalaun. Oh, because Jumala. Jamiluna, Jamilin by pattern it's okay, but they never used. They are never used. Even in Arabic, they will not be used anywhere. So, Jumala is better word. Jamilun Jumala. Karimun Kurama. And there is no mafto. Uh, Maf'ul. So, what is the masdar? Ajmal. Jamal. 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 Okay. What is Ajmal, by the way? Uh, I. Ajmal. I beautiful. No, uh, I was, uh, I am beautiful. I, uh, no, I am, yeah. 
I beautified myself. Uh, let us see. Here. I am Jamuna, beautiful. Okay, let, let us. Think it's about a, this. It's a, Jamuna mean. Jamula mean he was beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yajmulu, yeah. Yajmuluna, Tajmulu, Tajmuluna, that is Ajmulu. But here, I, I did not I ask am about beautiful. Aj, I did not ask for Ajmulu. I said I, Ajmal. Yeah. So just listen my question. I did not ask for Ajmulu. Ajmulu is Felul Mudare. Yes, I. But I said Ajmal. The word Ajmal is used a lot. Ajmal is like Akbar. Ajmalu, Akbaru, Ahsanu, Azamu. That is, if uh, okay, let me explain here. Jamilun is ismul fa'il, the one who is beautiful. Ajmalu, that is tafdeel, the one who is more beautiful. Al ajmalu, the most mute beautiful. Most beautiful. Okay. So that is ajmal. So did you understand the yeah. difference between yeah. this? Is ujmalu is different. That is feral feral mudare. Yajmalu, yajmaluna, tajmalu, tajmaluna, ajmalu. But this is Ajmal. Ajmal is basically it's a tafdeel of Jamilun. Like Kabirun is Akbar. Ha Haseenun Ahsan. Azimun Azam. Aminun Amin. Yeah. So here we have Jamula, Yajmulu, Ujmul, La Tajmul, Jamilun and Jama. Okay, thank you. Let us do one more example here. And I would ask... Uh, Daniel there? Yes. Daniel, the word is Hasuna. Okay. What is the meaning of Hasuna? Um, Hasuna means he was better. He was good. Uh, he was good. Good. Can you please do the table? Okay. Hasuna, Hasuna, Hasanu, Hasunta, Hasunu, Hasunu, Hasunta. Hasuntum, Hasuntu, Hasunna, Yahsunu, Yahsununa, Tahsunu, Tahsununa, Ahsunu, Nahsunu, Ohsun, La Tahsun, Ohsunu, La Tahsunu, Hasinun, and then Hasanun. No, Karim, Hasinun. Uh, Hasinuna, Hasinina, and yeah, Hasin by pet, yeah, by pattern it is okay. Hasinuna, Hasinina, but we also did another thing. Karim is Kurama, yeah, Jamilin uh, Jumala, Hasinin, Hussein, Hussein. That is different, but yeah, by pattern we can do that. And what will the master? Uh, Hasanun, Hasanun, yeah, okay, okay. Hasin mean? Hasinun means the one who was good, the one who is good. And what about Ahsanu? Uh, Ahsanu means uh, I was good. I will be good. Uh, what I asked, Ahsanu, okay? What I asked? Ahsanu. Ahsanu. Can you please do here, Mudare, and see? Is there Ahsanu? Is there? Yahsanu. Go ahead. Yahsanu. Yahsununa. Tahsunu. Tahsununa. Ahsunu. That is Ahsunu, Daniel, okay? Oh, okay. That is Ahsunu. What I asked, that is Ahsanu, Ahsan. What is the difference between Ahsunu and Ahsan? Uh, 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 Ahsanu is, um, is, uh, is Oh. What is the meaning of Ahsunu? Ahsunu means I will be good or I am good. I am good. And I ask you Ahsanu. Ahsan was Ismu Sifa, which is like... No, it's not, it's not Ismu Sifa. It's not Ismu Sifa. Like... Ismu Tafdeel. Ismu Tafdeel. So, Haseen is basically the one who is good and also these files can be treated as Sifa as well, Haseen. But Haseen also meaning is the one who is good. And the other is Ahsanu. Ahsanu means the one who is more good, better. Ahsan means better. And Al Ahsan... The best. Did you understand? Yeah. So these harakas are very important. Okay. So ahsunu and ahsanu. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is Hiba there? Hiba Hamad. 
I think not. No, she's not. Okay. I would go to Uncle Hamid. Yes, yeah, Salaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum As Salaam. Uh, the word is Sabara. Sabara. Uh, he was patient. He was patient. What? Which chapter it belongs to? Uh, Daraba Yadribu. Daraba Yadribu. Can you please do the complete table for that? Sabara, Sabaru, Sabarta, Sabartum, Sabarna. Yasberu, Yasberuna, Tasberu, Tasberuna, Asberu, Nasberu. Uh, Isber, Latasber. Isberu, Latasberu. Uh, Saribun. Sabirun. Sabir. Oh, sorry. Sabirun. Saberuna. Saberina. Uh, Mas. Yeah, by pattern it can be Masburun. Masburuna. Masburun. Masburun. Masburina. Uh, Sareb. No, Sabrun. Sabrun Jamilun. Oh, okay. Sabrun. Sabrun. Uh, sabr, sabr, sabr. Yeah, Sabrun is must. Okay, yeah. you use, use. So, what is the difference between Asbiru and Isbir? Isbir uh, is a fellow lamar. Okay, and Asbiru? Uh, Tasbiru? Asbiru. Asbiru. Oh. oh, oh. Uh, Asberu. Asberu is uh, he, uh, uh, they, uh, they were patient. Asberu. Where Asberu belong, uh, fit in the Mudamadi or Mudare? Uh, mudare. Mudare. So, Yasbiru, Yasbiru, na, Tasbiru, Tasbiru, Asberu. Asberu. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was patient and uh, I, uh, am, I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I am patient. I will be patient. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me go. Tamiya. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Tamiya, can you please do the Rahima? Um, rahi, uh, rahima is from Samia Yasmao. Okay. okay. Rahima means? He put mercy. He put, he put mercy. He put mercy. Rahima, Rahimu. Rahimta, Rahimtum, Rahimtu, Rahimna, Yarhamu, Yarhamuna, Torhamu, Torhamuna, Torhamuna, Arhamu, Narhamu, Irham, La Torham, Irhamu, La Torhamu, Um, Um, La, um, La, Samia, Samiun, Rahima, Rahimun, yes, Mahu. Rahimun, Rahimuna, Rahimina, Marhumun, Marhumuna, Marhumina, and Rahim. Rahmat, Rahmatun, Rahma, Rahmatun, basically Rahma, mercy. Okay. Okay, you say, okay, what is the difference between Arhamu and Iraham? Um, um, Arhamu means I put um, Arhamu, where it belongs, with which column it is, Fil Madi or Mudare? Okay, start from Yarhamu. Um, Yarhamu. Yarhamu, Yarhamuna, Tarhamu, Tarhamuna, Arhamu. Arhamu. Arhamu is here. I am mercy. I put mercy or I will put mercy. Arhamu. And what is Irham? Um, to put mercy. To put mercy? Irham. Yeah, it is Mudare. Put, put mercy. If you put, uh, use two, then it be, uh, become Masdar. So Irham, put mercy. Okay, yaar, have mercy. Irham. And what about Rahimun? The one who puts mercy. And what is, it is Rahimun. What is uh, Tafdeel? The one who is merciful. Okay, that is Rahimun. And Tafdeel means the one who is more merciful. 
أرحم أرحم and uh, what is اسم uh, مبالغة of Rahimun extensive case Rahim no بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن Rahman is also from there and what about uh, what is Rahim by the way what type of noun it is what is the meaning of Rahim no, no, Rahim, used in Bismillah, continuously merciful. What is? Oh, continuously merciful. Continue and continuously merciful, that is Sifa. That is what? Sifa. Sifa. Uh, Musab. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Musab, can you please summarize the level one? Okay, uh, level one has six chapters. Uh, Bab Fatha, Bab Daraba, Bab Nasara, Bab Samia, Bab Nasiba, and Bab Karuma. Okay, how you will define them? Always when you say Bab Fatha, so explain that. Uh, the, the first uh, chapter, Bab Fatha, is uh, Fatha Yaftahu, uh, Zabr Zabr, Zabr states Zabr. The second one is Bab Daraba, Daraba Yadribu. The Zabr becomes Zer. The third one is Bab Nasra, Nasra Yansubu. The Zabr becomes Pesh. The fourth one is Bab Samir. If you Samir. say Zabr becomes Pesh, so it will confuse. So just say Fatha uh, Zabr Pesh, Nasra Yansuru. Zabr Pesh means Fatha Dhamma. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Bab Samia, Samia Yasmahu, Zer Zabr. Uh, Bab Hasiba, Hasiba Yansubu, Zer Zer. Bab Karuma, Karuma Yakrumu, Pesh Pesh. Pesh Pesh. Yeah. Here, just by doing the revision, there is one thing that uh, I just observed that we always, we have to, we have the complete notes. We have the chapter here. So we should do, we should just focus some time that we see that this is Akrumu and this is Ukrum. Akrumu, Ukrum. Kareem, so we should know the difference. This is the benefit of the table because this one word is coming in Quran. We are doing the Quranic language. Uh, so, uh, Musab, can you please mute the mic, please? So, we just have to open some time and just try to what we have to do while do, doing revision. Just look at that karuma yakrumu kar karm. Okay, this is just a one thing. Put some two, three more minutes on, uh, five minutes on every chapter. And try to see that how I should differentiate the verb akrumu, ukrum, kareem. And you will see the harakas, these Arab, these uh, haraka, they are very important that how we are pronouncing them. Akrumu and ukrum, there is a difference. So akrumu, ukrum, kareem, kurama, and karam, karama. Similarly, uh, if we go there also. Everything is there, and there is one benefit of this course. If you just see the Arabic language course, and this is pure Quranic course, and objective of this course is not that you will be able to speak Arabic. The objective is not that you should read some, uh, you should write something. No, only objective is that use this course in Quran. Only this is there are fixed number of words, fixed number of chapters. Just we have to open and try to translate and try to understand it. There is no objective of that. You have to speak it after. No, it is not a spoken uh, course. It is not a writing course. It is just for already written scripture is already there. Everything is fixed. Just we have to apply it. And all the vocabulary words when we take it as a verb. So we always confuse ourselves in Arabic course and Quranic course. This is pure Quranic course and it is really easy. Arabic course is difficult. To say it, understanding the a slew of that language, that how we can speak it, how we can shot it, that is something different. That will definitely benefit us in Quran. But Quran is very straight and simple. There are the verb level, level one, level two, level three. It will help you to increase the vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important. Second thing is number of the rules. Now have fixed number of rules. Qad plus kana, qad plus madikam. What is the passive eyes? 
Okay, how we can use it like this? Is it maf'ul? It is file. Mudaf mudafile is sifa masuf. So how we can translate it? And then the second step is that we can understand the most important thing, the message of Quran in the second step. That what, what is the context of that and what, what is the lesson we have to take from that? So this is very important that always uh, Quran have one miracle, one uh, is that one correct virtue of that whenever you read Quran again and again, every time you will learn new things, every time you will understand in totally different way and it will give us more understanding, it will open us our hearts. That's why it is said that we have to say Rabbi Zidni Ilma and we have Allahumma Jal al Quran Rabiya Kalubina. Spring of our hearts, and that will only come that when we put some efforts with just by praying and not putting in efforts that will not uh, basically help us. So this is very important. For example, if I am here on this chapter, uh, this is one slide. Every word is from Quran. Every word is from Quran. You see the zakara, uzkur, isma, sami'un, sami'un, fatihun, madrubun, maftuhun. So everything is from Quran. So we should have this intention that we are basically trying to put our efforts to understand the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. That so, if we take the if you see this ayah, uzkuru, uzkur, ushkuru, takfurun, eofir, ghafara. So, these are the examples we always took during the course. So, uh, this, this book, especially this complete notes, open it and clearly summarize. There is not much theory or any other things you will be reading. Only thing that try to revise, apply it. Open Surah Baqarah, just one Musaf page. Surah al fatiha open it and just try to understand it. After doing two, three pages, inshallah, you will be on the right direction. So I would finish it here. This is just a review of level one and just make a plan to revise it. Just spare, for example, one hour for this level one so that I should have uh, expertise of all vocabulary, vocabulary, all verbs which are used. At least I should know the meaning of them. That is the purpose. Every time we should have small little goal or objective and we should put some efforts to try it. I should finish it here and inshallah tomorrow I will try to review the level two. Over to you, Dr.